So you've clicked into this video because you're having a lot of trouble sizing your YouTube banner. I get it. I had a lot of trouble too until I learned this trick in Canva. A banner is what you see here at the top of your YouTube page. Some people don't actually have this banner. They might wonder how you can get it on your channel. I'm going to talk about that too. Let's start off on Canva's homepage so that you never have to rework the sizing of your YouTube banner ever again. The first step today is going to be getting the correct dimensions. Instead of searching for YouTube banner or even channel art, you might be just searching for banner. And when you do that, you are not going to get the size for your YouTube channel art because all of these are in inches and you need a project that is going to be the correct size in pixels. Let's look and see how to do that. One way is by searching actually YouTube banner and you're going to notice that all of these when I click into them is going to say 2560 by 1440 pixel. That is the right dimension for YouTube. That's the size that you need. You can type in YouTube banner here at create a design and it's automatically going to give you the 2560 size and that's going to pull up a blank one. That's step number one is getting the full dimension in order to start creating your design. So what step number two is actually going to be setting up your blank canvas in order to prepare for your design. And I want to showcase you this. My banner on desktop, it's very, very short. It is not 1440. All of your important information needs to be in this safe zone. How can we make sure that we get the sizing right? Go to your blank document and type R on your keyboard. This is going to bring up a shape for you. And the new feature that Canvas added makes it even easier to figure out the height of your YouTube banner. So we're going to go to position and here where it says height, right now it says 432. We want it to say 423. And now the height of this is the actual height that you want for your YouTube banner. Now you can design not within that, but know that it won't be seen on anybody's desktop. It won't be seen on anybody's phone. So now we need to figure out the mobile sizing. The magical number is 1546. So here, in the width, we're going to type in 1546. We're going to set this right in the middle and right in the center of our design. Everything that you want to put in your banner needs to be in that small rectangle because that small rectangle is basically what's showing up on your banner. Type L on my keyboard and I'm just going to set a line here. And then I'm going to duplicate that and set a line there. Everything that you see within that line is what you can see or what someone can see on a desktop view of your YouTube channel. Over here on the right hand side, if we go back to mine, you're going to notice that I've got a clickable link, free trial of Canva Pro up at the top. Speaking of which, if you are using Canva for free and want a free trial, for 30 days, then make sure you click this and it's my affiliate link for, for you to be able to have a free trial of Canva Pro. Anything you design in this area right here won't be seen on anything. You need to focus your effort and your energy right here. Now you may not want that rectangle there within your design. I get it. You can create a guide for it. You're going to go to ruler and under view settings. Where rulers are actually changes sometimes. So when you're seeing this, it may be in a different location. However, know that shift R is the keyboard shortcut for 
rulers and guides. But I'm going to go ahead and click share ruler and guide and I'm going to show you how to bring down a ruler and guide. All you need to do is go up to the ruler, left click and then drag down and there's going to be this purple line that comes down and I'm going to bring it to the top of it and then I'm going to bring it to the bottom of it. And then over here on the left hand side, I'm going to do the same thing and bring a guide over to the left of the rectangle and to the right of the rectangle. Basically, you can get rid of the rectangle and design on it. And when you download your channel art, these aren't going to go with them. The problem with these is they tend to move a little bit. So there is now a new feature where you can lock the guides and this just makes them stay right where they are and you do not accidentally move them. These guides are locked. I cannot move them and this is a fantastic underrated new feature of Canva. If you're going to use a template like this, you might need to just resize a few things so that it will fit right in within those guides so that you can see it on both computer and phone. Mine was not over the whole document. I made it a little taller because I wanted to make sure that the black wasn't going to show. Essentially, what I did was start it off with that little rectangle, and then that showed me exactly what I'm going to see on mobile device. And then I made my little gradient a little bit bigger. I got rid of my rectangle, and I'm just going to download it. So download PNG. I do not need a transparent background. I'm going to go here and download. What I'm going to do is go to my dashboard. So we're going to go to, and you'd go to customization, branding. Branding is where you can change your profile picture, your banner image, and you can even make your logo a video watermark as well. And you can change it and it will change no matter what. Here's where you would change it. So we would add this, change. This makes it look like everything's not there, but it will be. It's just the way it looks. So if it's on desktop, everything on the right side would be there. It's just not showing it in this view. This says viewable on all devices, viewable on TV, but honestly, I never see this top and bottom part on my TV. You click done, you click publish. I want you to see that that little part actually does show even though you don't see it. Now I'm going to go to my channel. There's the part that you couldn't see in that little preview, but it's there. And if I showed you my mobile device, all of this would be there. I optimize for my mobile experience, but those that are on the computer see this little special something extra. Now, where can you add these links, these clickable links? They're not in your design. They are going to be under basic info, customization, basic info. If you scroll down, you can add a lot of links to your about page. So if I go here and go to about, if you scroll down, here are my links, free trial of Canva, the Creator Classroom Facebook page. There's my Koji page. I've chosen to only promote two things. And here's where I did that. We'll update that while I'm at it. First two links is what I chose, but you can add up to five links on your banner. And then I'm going to go ahead and publish. Now, one thing that I did not talk about today is of what you need on a YouTube banner. This tutorial right here, I created it a while ago. So some of the how-to aspects of it are a little off since Canva's done a lot of updates. However, the information is still very valid. So what I want you to do is click into this video and it's going to tell you more about YouTube banners. If you have any questions, just let me know below and I'll see you next time. Bye.